This is a simulation of intubation of a COVID positive patient in the operating room. Uh, this simulation is specifically designed for a two person team, a senior anesthesia provider and a clean anesthesia provider. In real life, we would be in full PPE for demonstration purposes. We're not going to wear the full PPE. The setup for a two person intubation team for a COVID patient is very similar to the setup for a three person intubation. The difference is, is that the circulator nurse will not be available to hand you equipment. So therefore you need all of your equipment easily accessible. I put a Mayo stand here that has all of my tape, bite block, OG and temperature probe that are gonna be going in the mouth. I have an extra syringe here in case mine falls on the ground. I have Purell and I have a set of gloves for glove changes. I have my suction available like I would for any intubation and I have taped or used a Kelly clamp rather to secure my endotracheal tube to the Christmas tree with the cuff um, already attached to the syringe ready to go. You'll see how this works when we demonstrate the intubation. There's also a glide scope ready to go that's on and I can reach easily the glide scope. I have two trash cans available and I also have a biohazard bucket for me to place my face mask and my blade in. We have extensions on both the IVs and the anesthesia machine so the clean anesthesia provider can stay as far away as possible. We're trying to minimize as much as we can any unnecessary exposure to a COVID patient. Of course, if there were difficulties with the airway, the clean anesthesia provider would be able to step in. A nurse circulator who is outside the room in PPE could also come in quickly to help, call for help, get other supplies, etc. Eventually, we'll be working on having algorithms for what to do if you can't intubate a COVID patient. First, verify that the fresh gas flow is off and APL is open. Fresh gas flow is off, your APL is open at zero. Okay, I'm going to remove the patient's surgical mask and throw it away and quickly apply the face mask. I'm going to hold with two hands. Can you please turn fresh gas flow on? Fresh gas flow is on. We are at two liters. I'm going to pre-oxygenate the patient with three to five minutes of tidal volume breathing and avoid positive pressure ventilation. When ready, I will instruct the clean anesthesia provider to push the pre-specified RSI induction drugs. Can you please push the propofol and succinylcholine? Propofol and succinylcholine are going in now. Propofol and succinylcholine are in. Okay, patient is fasciculating. Can you please turn off fresh gas flow? Fresh gas flows are off. I'm now going to intubate the patient. is up and circuit is connected. Can you please turn on fresh gas flow and turn on the ventilator? Fresh gas flows are on. Ventilator is on. Do we have untitled CO2? I see untitled CO2. And I see chest rise. We have an airway. I'm going to change my gloves. I'm going to put everything that's going in the patient's mouth in at this step. And when I put the OG tube in, I'm going to connect it to suction. Is the suction off? Suction is off. Inserting the OG tube. You can turn suction on. 
Turning suction on. Suction is on. Throwing away the face mask in the biohazard bin. I'm going to do a final glove change because I'm not planning on touching the patient's mouth again. After this procedure, I'm clean. The anesthesia, other anesthesia provider is clean, the ventilator is clean, and the back table is clean. This is a simulation of extubation of a COVID positive patient in the operating room. This is designed to be a two person team with an extubator anesthesia provider and a clean anesthesia provider who will be assisting. Just as a reminder, for extubation, you should be in full PPE with boots, gown, double gloves, N95 mask, hood, and face shield. For extubation, if the patient is going to the ICU anyway, they should go to the ICU intubated and be extubated in the ICU. The patient needs to be able to tolerate less than 40% FiO2 and you should verify that prior to extubation. If you have any concern that the patient will not fly after extubation, then you should transport them to the ICU intubated. As a reminder, um, I'm starting here with clean gloves. First, I'm going to place a nasal cannula on the patient so that we can provide oxygen after extubation. I put the nasal cannula in the nose, come under the earlobes, and tighten it against the top of the head. I'm not putting it on the normal way because I don't want to do a circuit disconnect. I'm then placing a surgical mask on the patient's forehead with the elastic straps behind the head so that I can quickly slide the mask down after extubation. Then I'm going to remove items from the mouth. This is very dirty, so I'm going to change my gloves after this. I'm also going to use gauze to help keep the area clean. So first I'm removing the temperature probe, putting it in the trash. I'm then going to take another set of gauze. My OG tube is hooked up to suction. Can you verify that suction is on? Suction is on. I'm going to take out the OG tube with suction on, and this will serve as my suctioning of the airway. Removing the OG tube, putting it in the trash. Then connecting back to my yank hour. I'm then going to loosen the tape in preparation for extubation. I'm not going to do anything else in the mouth, so I'm going to change my outer gloves. I'm going to Purell. And I'm going to put on new clean gloves. The patient should be on 100% FiO2 in anticipation of extubation. I would also consider having some anesthetic drugs in line, such as remifentanil or propofol, whatever you choose. If the patient is not waking up smoothly, as was your goal and plan, you can consider pushing some drugs and reassessing your extubation plan. Now I have clean gloves on. As a reminder, I have just taken everything out of the patient's mouth, I've loosened the tape, and I've changed my gloves, and I now have clean gloves on. I'm going to continue preparing for extubation by first taking my uh, face mask, connected to a gooseneck, and placing it on the right side of the patient's head. I'm going to take a 10 cc syringe and connect it to the endotracheal tube balloon. I'm then going to take a clear plastic drape and place it over the patient's head to protect myself and others in the room from droplets that come from the patient coughing on extubation. I'm also going to make sure that my circuit is secure in the Christmas tree. As you would for any extubation, the patient should be on 100% oxygen, they should be taking adequate tidal volumes, following commands. When you feel the patient is ready to extubate, you're going to hold the tube with your left hand securely and ask the clean anesthesia provider to please turn off the fresh gas flow, turn off the ventilator, place the vent on manual, and have the APL valve open to zero. Fresh gas flow off, vent to manual, APL zero. All right, fresh gas flow is off. I'm going to extubate the patient. I'm going to reach my hand underneath the drape with my right hand and deflate the cuff. I'm then going to remove the endotracheal tube. I'm going to take my right hand over the drape 
and disconnect the endotracheal tube from the circuit. Remember, the patient is coughing right now and I'm still protected by this clear plastic drape. I'm gonna let the circuit just drop. It's secured in the Christmas tree. Try not to drop it on the patient's face. And I'm gonna let the patient cough for a moment while I collect myself. I'm then gonna take my right hand under the drape, grab my mask, place the thumb over the gooseneck and apply that to the patient's face. Throw away the dirty tube and drape. Quickly connect the circuit. Fresh gas flow on, please. Fresh gas flow on. I'm going to verify that the patient is breathing. The patient looks good. There's no laryngospasm. I'm happy with how the patient looks. I'm then going to prepare to transition to the nasal cannula and the surgical face mask. Can you please turn off the fresh gas flow? Fresh gas flow is off. So now that fresh gas flow is off, I'm going to simultaneously bring the surgical face mask down over the patient's nose and mouth and immediately throw the entire circuit and mask into the trash can, draped over the trash can. I'm then going to change my outer gloves because this is a dirty procedure. Purell put on clean new gloves and myself or the clean anesthesia provider will turn on the nasal cannula if the patient needs oxygen.